Well, with rising inflation, more people than ever before are turning to food banks for help. It's estimated about 70,000 people in Greater Victoria alone are food insecure. Now, to help meet the growing need, the mustard seed is cooking up a delicious fundraiser. Tess Van Stratton has the details in this week's Vital People. Today I'm using some kale that we have, uh, some plantains, and then this local sustainable Humboldt squid, which is really nice. Chef Christopher Hammer's love of cooking is contagious. I love the creativity. I love being able to, um, you know, see people enjoy what I've created. Um, you know, I love being able to do things that brings people together. Again, with squid, you don't want to cook it too much. And he's a master at creating tasty dishes from ingredients on hand at the Mustard Seeds Food Security Distribution Center. I was a chef for 25 years and I loved what I did, but then COVID came and, and I needed something more. I needed to be able to feel like I was doing something more. The distribution center helps around 70 different agencies in the Food Share Network get food to those in need. We see uh, between 10 and 12,000 pounds of uh, fresh produce, dairy, meat, bread come in every day. Uh, and then with the help of the Food Share Network agencies, that is brought out to the community even further than the mustard seed alone would be able to do. And the need for help is skyrocketing, with an estimated 70,000 people in the region food insecure. Since 2018, uh, food bank usage has gone up at almost 80%. Uh, that's based on the hunger count numbers. That's a number we haven't seen since food banks have existed. Donations that can't be distributed, like produce that needs sections trimmed off or small lots. Just want to warm those up a smidgen too. Are used for the lunches the mustard seed serves up for Victoria's most vulnerable. So we're going to make some kale chips. And that's the inspiration for the mustard seed chef's challenge fund fundraiser April 13th. There's so much products that are left over and to be able to to reuse them and make absolutely amazing food and use my skills and ability to kind of put me to the test and, and challenge to be able to do that. I'm looking very much forward to that opportunity. And it's just like, you know, a starchy banana and it makes a really good chip. So I'm just going to throw these in the deep fryer. Four top chefs will be creating delicious dishes. I'm going to be doing a dish with a shrimp that are here and then using some cauliflower, uh, some pickled pepper, some different things. So the idea again is using as much as possible all the product uh, coming from the facility. So this is just a little bit of local lettuce. And, uh, and really trying to do, you know, work magic. Which is exactly what Christopher's done. That's nice. There we go. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.